Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dragon Puppy, and today I'm covering Medusa's Rage. That's right, and I'm going to give you a war recap on what's been going on. I've got some absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome Town Hall 9 attacks. I've even got one from our baby Blatz, who is one of our awesome little rushed bases. But let's go ahead and let's get right into it. All right, so here is our war record. It's up for you. We just got off of a, a nice little eight war win streak, and that's the highest we've gotten so far. We get to eight, and then we get smacked back down. And you know what? A lot of these losses, I'm going to tell you, are issues that we've worked out within our clan. It was people not attacking. Hey, take me to war. Take me to war. I'll do good for you. And then you never show up. But we've worked out these issues. This war, though, by organization, organization is, uh, well, we got our butts kicked. They came over and 100 percented us. It was the first time ever we've been 100 percented. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they deserve the win on this one. Kind of ended our little eight war win streak. And, uh, yeah, we just couldn't come back from it. But, uh, we took a page from their book. And, uh... Well, I'll show you guys here in a second here. We'll just go through. And just as you see here, I mean, obviously, they three-starred the shit out of us. Top to bottom. Uh, I actually called out, and I did something a little different here in this war. I, normally, I make everybody use their attacks no matter what. But after we got that full 100% slapped on us, and there was no way we were coming back, I just called out to the clad and said, Yo, save your attacks, because a war loss... The win bonus off of it is garbage. You're not going to get dick. So, rather than wasting a perfectly good army, go use it to farm. But, in our last war here, as you can see guys, 20 hours in, we three-starred them. <laughs> yes, we did. We had a perfect war with four, four hours in. Four, that's it. Kick their butts. Hell yeah. <laughs> and these guys here, I'll just go ahead and tell you right now, they were on their eighth war win streak. <laughs> we figured it was only fitting to go ahead and just absolutely take them out. So here, just have a look. Now these guys, obviously, you know, they've got a very decent little war record here on them. You know, quite comparable. And they were on their eighth. But, uh... We just figured we'd return the favor. And this is how we did it. The number one, my king is down for the next few days. And uh, so we had Baby Blatz, our beautiful little Town Hall 11 rushed base, shoots up from nine to three star one. And you're like, yeah, okay, I can hear it now. My dragon puppy, he's a Town Hall 11 hitting a Town Hall 9. And your point? He's our ninth hitting a Town Hall 9. He's a rushed base, okay? And just look at this. The power of these boulders, as soon as you can get them, oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. They just absolutely clean up. And they wreck these rush. Well, first off, I'm impressed with these guys here, Myanmar Genius, from uh, being able to get the eight war win streak as they got. I mean, that was impressive. But they were just no match. No match for them Baby Blatz Bowlers. Ooh, Baby Blatt Bowler, Baby Blatt Bowlers. That's kind of fun to say. It's a little difficult to say. But, oh, look at this. Just look at this. Look at how these just clean up. And they clean up so quickly, too. You know? I've been putting my base out there for uh, Baby Blatz to hit a lot. And I'll tell you, from when he first picked up this attack to now, it's like night and day. And it's one thing I preach on my channel, guys. If you suck at attacking, practice, practice, practice. If your clan doesn't put anything up for you to attack, go out there and use that war army to farm with. Set your limit. Stay within it. It's a simple little theory. But if they do, and that's honestly the best, is to just practice on your own clan. Hey, I got a new attack style. You guys mind if I go out there and try it? 
I'm sure your clan would much rather you try it on their bases than try it on your first attack in war. Oh, and boom, done. Game over. Right off the bat, number one, three starred. Gorgeous! All right, and now next, we've got our number two. And I like to do the straight across. That's just how I prefer to run my wars. If you're already matched up that way, you should be able to three star across and defend across, right? Eh? I prefer it. It's the way I like to run my wars. And just look at this. I don't, I don't tell my clan that they have to use one attack and one attack only, and they better be the best at that attack or else. I would much rather my clan find what they're comfortable with and then go from there. And Baby Blatz loves this air attack. And again, practice, practice, practice. Now, Baby Blatz, or sorry, uh, Gianni here needs to work on some of his, you know, spells. They need to come up a little bit to properly take things out. But that comes with time. It's the technique. It's knowing when to drop, 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 and where to drop. That's really going to become critical in these war attacks. I can preach funnel, 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 funnel all day long. But what's the point? You have to figure out what funneling means for you. Does it mean taking off the outside edge and then you create the... Yeah, well, that's exactly what it means. Is you clear off the outside and then they funnel straight towards the middle. How you do it and what you drop is really up to you. Hello, dog. Yes, I see you. I acknowledge your presence and I acknowledge your right to live. But I'm in the middle of a recording here. All right? Okay. Anyways, it's up to you. Whether you take dragons, whether you take loons, whether you take whatever. I mean, yes, there are overpowered troops in the game, but they're not the only troops. And I'll tell you right now, you'll do far better off using troops that you're comfortable with rather than troops that are just OP. And look at this. We're working our way down. Oh, beautiful. Right to the bottom. And when I was watching this, I was on the edge of my seat because at 20 seconds here, he only had 21 seconds left. He was saved by the speed of those two little lava hounds. It came very close to not being a three star. Not that we couldn't have cleaned it up, but that wasn't the point. And done! <laughs> Great job. I love watching that attack, even though my dog interrupted it. Stupid beagle. All right. All right. And, oh, right. KJ. And I finally got KJ off the bloody P.E.K.K.A. Now, you're like, but Dragon Puppy, why no P.E.K.K.A.? Weren't you three-starred in the last war by a go wipe? I was, actually. And it was sad. The problem with the P.E.K.K.A. is that the Tesla for Town Hall 9 is a lot more powerful than the level of P.E.K.K.A. that we have. And those, if they have maxed out Teslas for Town Hall 9, they will wreck your P.E.K.K.A.'s day in a heartbeat. They just can't stand up. And the nice thing about these Valks is that they run quickly. They get ahead of the other troops, they can trigger the big bombs, the spring traps, run over top of them, get out of their way, and save your wizards. Oh my goodness, I don't know how many times I have lost all, <sighs> all of my wizards to big bombs. And it's because that slow golem trips the big bomb, and then my nice little quicker wizards walk right head first into it. And I scream and yell, no! But it happens, and it happens a lot. Oh. Oh, it's so much nicer seeing those Valks running around. Them little redheads, it doesn't even matter the level. You know, you'd prefer using twos. They get that nice big bump, right? Everybody would prefer using a two over a level one. But it's a... They, they work so much better at Town Hall 9, and I don't know why. They just, they were never a fan for me down in Town Hall 8, and 
Yeah. Oh, and this. This is it right here, guys. Right there. See that? That little sneaky hid a town, or sorry, a builder hut behind his P.E.K.K.A. statue. Dirty. At least we were able to catch it. All right. Now that that one's done, we got one left, and this is the you know, this is bladders five on five, and again, a gorgeous, gorgeous little thing. It's a different style attack, you know. He's got all those hogs, and again, this is the nice thing I'm showing you guys here at Town Hall Nine. There is a variety. It's not just one that's gonna get her done. There's so many different styles, so many different methods that you can work, that you can use. Oh, done. Queen dead. Oh, but the poison got him! And it's finding out what you're comfortable with. There are key elements to all attacks. Alright? You're gonna use hogs? That queen needs to die? That clan castle needs to die? Long before you release those hogs. And may I just point out to you guys, this base style right here is horrible. It's horrible for defending in raiding, and it's horrible in war. There are so many videos out on YouTube, mine included, that show you how to get rid of this base. Anytime that you have a tight base with no spaces in between it, that's just made for hogs. Because there's no double big bombs to take them out. And those hogs will live inside a heal spell for ever. Four. As long as you pre-heal the zones that they're heading into, there's nothing that's going to take them out. So, it was... It really, really, really helps, guys, to have a bunch of different attacks in your arsenal. And it's not always possible, honestly. You know, you don't have the level of troop. You don't have the skill. But there's really nothing saying that in your clan, you couldn't go ahead and say, hey... We're just going to do an experimental army day. And what that means is you're just going to, everybody's going to try something different and take it to war. Build your army attack styles. It helps. It really helps. Especially seeing if you're going to max out levels before you go to the next. At Town Hall 9, I mean, with a level 15 king and a level 15 queen, that's seven days per king and queen. If you're able to get them both on, that's 15 weeks. It's craziness. Absolute craziness. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you want to join Medusa's Rage, go ahead, check us out in the links below there. Hello! And just come check us out. We're welcome to have you. Just say, I came from YouTube. Or I came from Twitter. Or I came from Facebook. Wherever. It's, you're more than welcome to come and join us. Check us out, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to feel the beat. All right, enough of that silliness.